Shalom everyone. Here's a take on a mirrored uh, video off of BitChute. It's just a, a short portion, maybe three or four minutes, because she talks about uh, vitamins and things you can take if you've uh, taken the J that might help stave off some of the effects. So I think it's important to listen to. It's not very long. Here we go will not win they don't win and we will come out but it's this is a very small group of people in the shadows and we have all the power in our hands god is within us all the power is all ours yes and you need to find find your tribe um because i i i don't know you know if, it, if we've got the internet i know if anyone googles just put kate shemarani in it, it it's just mad everything comes up the good, the bad, the ugly, I don't really care. Um, should I die tomorrow, at least my children will know that I fought for them. We tried. Um, and, when, and, and people say to me, you know, they're sick or they can't do it. That's okay. They're doing their bit. They're sharing our posts. They're sharing what we're doing. And it's incredible how the Lord maneuvers us all together and in place um, so that we can deal with it. Last week, um, I was down um, at Eastbourne with, with Lee and... We went, I was supposed to be doing some photographs for D. Manny Mitchell's new radio show. And Lee is going to be doing the fitness hour on it. And I'm doing nutrition. She's got an amazing radio show. We'll cover that again. But we went for a walk all the way along the promenade with my um, yappy chihuahuas. And, you know, it was absolutely wonderful. I saw kids on their scooters on the skate park just living just having fun on a lovely hot summer's day as the sun was going down. And we got to the tennis courts where there was a roller disco with people older than me. Um, hard to believe. But they were, they were rollerblading, roller skating to music and just in the vibe having fun. There was people um, in their wetsuits. They'd been out on the ocean, um, on their kayaks, doing all kinds of things. People just living. And I thought, wow, you know, life is rolling on. But these kids that were skateboarding, young kids, uh, and um, and on their scooters, and I just thought, you know, this this is why I do what I do to keep going. They're not going to kill everybody. Tens of millions are going to die. I absolutely stand with Judy Mikovic on that, and yeah. Dr. Sherry Tenpenny, and Dr. Miday, and Dr. Kaufman, and all of these people. I've Even listened Dr. to them. Dr. They're Dr. all saying the same thing. Tens of millions are going to die. They've been deceived. Not one of us is going to be untouched by with this. That with that statement that you've got, we've got somebody in the chat and they've said um, that they've had both shots. Now this is gonna be a very sobering question and answer. Uh, Cause I know Kate doesn't uh, sugarcoat anything when she comes out and speaks of this. He says, am I going to die soon? What, what's your words for him? Well, we're all going to die. Unless you accept that death is part of living, you can't truly live. So I can guarantee you that both of us are going to die. I might die before you. God willing, God decides when we die. Now you've been deceived and you've been coerced. But remember, we're not fighting flesh and blood here. We're fighting principalities. There are That's things right. that you can do to take some CoQ10, take some vitamin C, a thousand milligrams every hour, uh, up to bowel tolerance, non-ascorbic for three months. Vitamin C, a thousand milligrams every hour. Take some selenium, take some zinc, take some vitamin D3, 5,000 international units of K2, get out in the midday sun, clean water, clean air, clean thoughts, um, clean food, guard your immunity, boost your immunity now, and do not have the flu shot, do not go near anyone that's had the flu shot. And now you need to get down on your knees and you need to pray to the Lord above to protect you, to heal you. Never ever believe that the power of prayer doesn't work because it does. And that is all you can do. You've been deceived. Ask, ask for redemption and pray. Yeah, because and that redemption, that redemption comes through one person. It's the Lord Jesus Christ. There is no other name given under given to men Amen. under heaven Amen. whereby we can be saved. So so Kate is pointing you to the gospel, the one who gave his life uh, so that he might pay for the wrath due upon your sin, which is transgression of God's law. And we've talked about God's law in these vaccines and how that plays out of the life of the flesh is in the blood. We're not to mix that blood and this and all these kinds of principles that we find within God's law. And God calls us to repentance. 
Um, there are far, far uh, more terrible sins that the Bible lists and things. And so the, the call is that, and I appreciate you putting that in there, Kate, that there are things that they can do, but ultimately even... I like the way they said there's nothing more powerful than prayer, and there is power in prayer. And I just lift you all up in the name of Yeshua. Uh, in the name of Jesus Christ, I ask that you would heal from the top of your head to the bottom of your feet by the power of the Holy Spirit. I ask for God's shalom in your, in your household. I ask that the Lord protect your, your jobs, your businesses, whatever needs protection, your income. I ask that the Lord would meet your needs. And I ask the Lord that would give you the strength to go through the things that we're going to have to go through here, uh, looking at the future here. So, Father, I ask for strength, anointing, and your presence more than anything else. In the name of Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen. God bless you. And shalom. I love you. Hugs and kisses. Mwah, mwah, mwah.